okay guys so step one is to pick up this base color base brown color and just draw the shape for the hair and just fill this shape out um, of this hair now this is our base and I am using soft airbrush to do so and yeah so uh, also I'm gonna be sharing the color palette with you guys so you guys can also use the similar palette to practice and to see how it looks so yeah I'm using this base brown color which was the first color in the palette to be very clear and when, once the shape is ready just start creating this curl like shape um, around the edges of that whole base shape using I'm using the similar brush for that as well I'm using softer brush to do so and also kind of create these little hair kind of structure at the bottom as well just to give it the hair effect so if you're creating stray hair you don't really have to do this but for curly hair just make sure you are actually creating the, the, that curl shape around the edges now the next step is to um, create a new layer and add clipping mask to it and just um, take a darker version of the base color now this color I don't have it on the color palette um, just select a darker shade of this base color and what I'm doing here is I am adding these shadows in the form of curly hair stroke as you guys can see on the screen and I'm basically just creating some random curl kind of hair stroke on that base and we'll be actually making those as shadows for the hair so those are just a basic structure for the shadows of the hair And once you have once you're happy with the shadows what you want to do is just alpha lock that layer where you created the shadows and just pick up this dark brown color I have on the palette and just um, paint it over the shadows you created now the reason why I do it first with that lighter color is just to see how it looks and once you're happy with that you can always go ahead and darken those up once you're happy, just pick up your blending tool. Now to blend, make sure you are blending these out pretty nicely. You don't really have to worry about, you know, smoothing those out or you don't really have to worry about keeping them harsh looking. Just blend those out really nicely so that it doesn't look like this as it is looking right now. So that's what you want to do right here. Once you're happy with that, you want to create a new layer again and you want to pick up technical pen from Ink Ink Brush Set and a lighter color of this brown. I already have this on the palette so you can use that. And I'm using this technical pen now. You can play around with the opacity and the size of the brush. It depends on what type of hair you're drawing. But here I actually reduced the opacity a little bit and also um, I'm using a larger size of the brush. Now you here you want to uh, add lighter hair strokes just near those shadows so don't go over the shadows just yet you can actually do that too it doesn't really matter but try adding those hair strokes around these shadows and really light ones over the shadows I hope this is making sense and do not worry about it being perfect yet because we are going to be blending those out and when just create a, create a base with thinner hair strokes then thicker hair strokes as I did in the video and then you can pick up the blending tool again and start blending those out as well you don't really have to worry about smoothing them out too much or stuff like that just blend those out really really nicely
now once you have that what is what it is going to do it is just going to guide you for the shadows uh, and so for that what i did is i just went back to the layer where i have shadows and i picked up that dark brown color again and i'm just darkening those shadows up again because the lighter hair strokes are actually helping us um, find out where the shadows should be or where the shadows should be more prominent and more darker so that is the reason why i like to do it again once i have a layer of lighter hair strokes i hope this is making sense so just darken those um, shadows up again using soft airbrush in the darker brown color And I'm repeating the lighter hair stroke step once again and I'm creating this new layer and adding clipping mask to it and I'm using this um, lighter brown shade but it is pretty saturated as compared to other ones and I am using softer brush just to add lighter shade here and there just to you know kind of balance the shadows with the lighter or with the highlights so as to say now the next step is to create a new layer again just at the top of every other layer that you have and now you want to pick up light pen from luminance brush set also make sure the size of the brush is um, small not too large and also i'm using the lighter brown shade which is kind of saturated and i'm adding more hair strokes using this brush and I love, love using this brush when I'm actually painting hair because it just helps in, you know, adding more and more hair strokes to the hair. So that's what I'm doing here. And I am also adding hair strokes using uh, the pink, the dark pink kind of color that I have on the palette. And I'm adding that color as well. You can add any color that you want or you can just completely skip using any other color. You can just use the brown color if you want to. The next step is to create a new layer just at the very bottom of all of the layers that you have and pick up technical pen once again and the base color, the base brown color that we use to kind of create the basic shape. And here what you want to do is you want to add hair strokes around the edges of the whole hairstyle just to make it look more realistic. Add really thin and really uh, light looking hair around the edges and yeah that is something i always do when i'm painting hair so yeah make sure you are doing it too now once you're done with that here comes my favorite step which is highlighting so with that what i do is i just create a new layer just above every other layer that we have and i pick I'm picking up light brush from luminance brush set and this brown color which is lighter but is quite saturated and I'm using this color and this brush to add highlights now um, initially you want to add these little dots as I'm doing right here in the video with the exact same shape do not worry about it being so harsh looking just yet just add the highlights wherever you think the light should be hitting the most so that's what i'm doing right here now, once you're happy with that pick up your blending tool make sure the size is small and blend those highlights in the form of a hair stroke so you want to blend those out as if you are actually creating a hair stroke i hope this is making sense and this is just going to make it look more natural and realistic And once those are blended, what you can actually do is the reason why I love using light brush from Luminance Brush Set is, be, is that you can actually create um, hair strokes with that as well if you know how to use it 
nicely and lightly so basically what you want to do is if you want to create that effect is to put less pressure onto the screen if you want to create those head strokes around the glossy or highlighty part of the hair i know this must not be visible on the screen right now but basically what i'm doing is i am just using that similar brush putting really less pressure onto the screen and adding some hair strokes here and there just to kind of blend those highlights out with the hair strokes Now, once you are happy with that first layer of highlight, uh, what you want to do is you want to pick up this pink kind of color and light pen and you want to create a new layer. You can just do it on the similar layer if you want to. I'm going to add these little dots over the highlights that you just added. And uh, yeah, that's what I like doing. I like having two different layers for highlight, no matter if I'm painting skin or hair. Just place a little dot and you're done with that. You don't really want to go ahead and create those large looking highlights that we did previously. Okay guys, so the last step is to go back onto the layer where we have shadows and actually darken those up. Now you can completely skip this step if you are happy with the results, but I like to keep going back and keep retouching the shadow part of the hair and I love doing that. So I'm just adding, I'm just darkening those shadows up just really, really lightly on some parts of the hair only, not completely, not everywhere. So as you guys can see, it is actually making it look more and more realistic as I do so. And yeah, guys, that is basically it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you do create this hairstyle using the power that I'm giving you guys uh, with this video, um, do tag me on Instagram. I love going through each and every one of you. And I really appreciate that. So do that, do follow me on Instagram as well, subscribe to my channel, I post every Monday and Friday, and yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Also you guys, I actually went back and kind of added more highlights and more shadows to the hair i just went crazy with it i just wanted to more and more realistic and and i also added few more hair strokes around the edges of the hair so it doesn't make any difference but yeah that is something you can actually keep doing if you want to like you can keep adding highlights you can keep shadows uh, until you're happy with the results so yeah that is just that